Bill Nye, the science guy, has been a familiar face in science education for decades. With his enthusiastic explanations and deep dives into space and the universe, he's inspired millions to look up and ask the big questions. From television screens to major science platforms, Bill Nye has always been an advocate for scientific exploration and discovery. Recently, he's spoken out about the incredible images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, which are shaking up everything we thought we knew about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, isn't just another telescope, it's a masterpiece of technology. Developed over many years by NASA, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, this telescope was designed to see farther into space than ever before. What makes it special is its ability to detect infrared light, which means it can look through cosmic dust and see objects that older telescopes, like the Hubble, simply couldn't. It's like switching from a blurry photo to Ultra HD, the difference is mind-blowing. Launched on December 25, 2021, JWST had a long journey to its final destination, the second Lagrange point, L2, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. It had to unfold in space, like a piece of origami, and every step of the deployment was extremely complex. But the mission succeeded, and by mid-2022, the telescope started sending back its first images, images that stunned the scientific world. One of the most jaw-dropping revelations was the telescope's ability to look back in time, literally. Because light takes time to travel, when JWST observes distant galaxies, it sees them as they were billions of years ago. Some of the galaxies captured by JWST are over 13.4 billion years old, dating back to when the universe was just a few hundred million years old. That's only about 2% of the universe's current age. This has given scientists a front row seat to the birth of galaxies. Bill Nye has expressed his excitement about these discoveries. According to him, the data from JWST is revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. He pointed out that the telescope's ability to capture infrared wavelengths has allowed scientists to see details previously hidden in dust clouds, giving us new insight into star and planet formation. One iconic structure, known as the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula, was previously imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's image showed enormous pillars of gas and dust, but much of what was going on inside them was hidden. Thanks to JWST, we can now see into those pillars, where stars are actively being born. These baby stars, called protostars, are still gathering material and growing hotter and denser. Dr. Amber Strawn, an astrophysicist at NASA, said, We're witnessing the early stages of stellar life in a way we never have before. Scientists can now track how a protostar's core heats up until nuclear fusion begins, igniting a brand new star. This process is key to understanding how our own sun formed and how other stars are born across the galaxy. JWST also revealed regions of space where stars are still forming today. The use of infrared light allows scientists to distinguish between different components of these star-forming regions, including gas, dust, and young stars. Each color in the image corresponds to a specific infrared wavelength, helping astronomers map out what's happening deep within these cosmic nurseries. Beyond stars, JWST has made groundbreaking discoveries in the realm of exoplanets, planets outside our solar system. Until recently, most exoplanets could only be detected indirectly, such as by the way they dim a star's light. But now, JWST has managed to capture direct images of exoplanets in extraordinary detail. One of the most significant images was of HIP 65426b a massive gas giant nearly 12 times the size of Jupiter. Using special instruments called coronagraphs, the telescope filtered out the overwhelming light from the planet's star, allowing astronomers to see the planet directly. This was the first time such clarity was achieved at this level of detail for a planet that far away. Astrophysicist Dr. Nicole Cologne from NASA stated, We're entering a new era of exoplanet science. JWST lets us study planetary atmospheres and compositions like never before. These atmospheric studies are crucial for searching for signs of life and understanding how planets form and evolve. One exoplanet that has gained a lot of attention is WASP-39b, located about 700 light-years away in the Virgo constellation. 
It's an extremely hot gas giant, orbiting its star so closely that its atmosphere is boiling. JWST detected carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and silicates in its atmosphere, a first in exoplanetary research. This finding is important because it means that complex chemical reactions are happening even on distant worlds. These reactions are similar to the processes that took place on early Earth, and they offer clues about habitability elsewhere in the universe. Bill Nye said, Discoveries like this are getting us closer to answering whether we're alone in the universe. One of JWST's most beautiful discoveries is the Ghost Galaxy, M74. It's a perfect example of a spiral galaxy, and JWST's infrared imaging captured it in astonishing detail. The image showed filaments of heat and dust spiraling out from its center, revealing hidden star-forming regions. This level of detail allows scientists to study the life cycle of stars inside galaxies. They can now determine the mass, age, and chemical composition of star clusters with greater accuracy. According to Dr. Janice Lee, an astronomer with the Space Telescope Science Institute, these images are rewriting our textbooks on how galaxies evolve. Perhaps one of the most fascinating aspects of JWST's discoveries is how they challenge previous theories. Before JWST, many astronomers believed that galaxies didn't form until at least a billion years after the Big Bang. But now, thanks to JWST, we have direct evidence that galaxies began forming just a few hundred million years after the universe was born. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.